Hello students. So let's try to solve uh, one more problem from CSIR NET uh, 2023. And this exam was held in June 8. And uh, this problem is from quantum mechanics and that is uh, basically two dimensional harmonic oscillator. This is a very conceptual problem, not very high level of uh, calculation is involved, but it is really very conceptual. And uh, we have to just uh, calculate each and everything very carefully. So in this this type of problem one can do a lot of error so let's try to go for this so this is a problem of uh, two dimensional harmonic oscillator this is kinetic energy for x degree of freedom and this is for y degree of freedom and this is half m omega square x square is potential related to x variable and this is 2m omega square y square so this is very interesting so this is my potential energy this is my kinetic energy so first duty, whenever we will see this type of thing, we have to write each and everything as half m omega effective square x square or y square. So this is in a correct form. We have to just find the effective potential for y. So first thing, what we are going to do, we have to write the Hamiltonian in a, our favorable case. That is px square upon 2m plus py square upon 2m x part has not any issue so this will be half m omega square x square but we have to little bit change y part and we will write something like half m and this will be 2 omega square y square because if we are going to multiply with uh, uh, half then we have to uh, multiply with 2 then we have to divide with 2 and this 2 and 2 will be 4 so you have to be very much careful now we have two normal frequency so one normal frequency is omega x that is omega another normal frequency is omega y that is 2 omega so you have to keep in mind all this setup and we have discussed this thing in n number of problem so how we have to parameterize this all this thing anyway so what will be energy eigenvalue related to this one so the generalized energy eigenvalue have uh, two quantum number nx and y because we have two degree of freedom and this value is equal to nx plus half h cut omega plus ny plus half and that value is equal to two h cut omega so that is h cut into two omega actually so that value is two h cut omega and what are the allowed quantum number the allowed quantum number is nx separately independently zero one two three and so on and y is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. And these two are independent variable because they are related to independent degree of freedom. So you have to take care of all this thing. Now, this energy value. So first, let me first uh, write this thing uh, some in a compact form. So when we will write this thing in a compact form, then this value is equal to 2 and uh, just we will go for 2 nx plus uh, 1 and this is h cut omega by 2 is here and this value is equal to uh, 4 ny 2 is there and 2 i am taking here 4 ny plus 2 h cut omega by 2 so we der deliberately written this particular thing and this thing can be written as 2 nx plus 4 ny plus uh, this value is uh, 3 h cut omega by 2. So we just make it very compact with this particular uh, variable nx and ny. This is discrete in nature. And it is given in problem that this energy for some particular state and it may be more than one state so why they are asking for the degeneracy so this value is equal to 27 by 2 h cut omega and then we can easily remove this h cut omega by 2 so deliberately i have taken this h cut omega by 2 common so you have to just see the problem and then you have to go for the calculation how you can make it compact and now what is the constraint here for nx and ny we have constraint and this constraint is 2nx plus 4ny plus 3 must be equal to 27 
एंड वी हैव टू एन एक्स प्लस फोर एन वाई इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फोर इफ वी आर गोइंग टू सब्रैक्ट विथ थ्री एंड वी कैन राइट एन एक्स प्लस टू एन वाई मस्ट बी इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व सो दिस इज माई कंस्टेंट एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड ऑल द पॉसिबल वैल्यू ऑफ एन एक्स एंड एन वाई we have to find all the possible value of nx and ny such that it is going to fulfill this uh, a condition or this constraint by additional constraint which is that nx and ny must be either 0 1 2 3 and all this thing so this is very interesting so from there one thing is very clear that we have to just go for step by step if nx is equal to 0 then what is going to happen then nx is equal to 1 then what is going to happen and you will see when nx is equal to odd number then what will happen if nx is equal to odd number this will become odd and ny and this will divided by 2 that will become a fraction and which is not allowed so in this particular problem this nx and ny have to be integer nx must be always a even number this is one of the beautiful thing we have to think now we can easily calculate the degeneracy so let's try to go for calculating the degeneracy so we can use all this space to calculating the degeneracy okay so we have this constraint so i am writing it here nx plus 2 ny must be equal to 12 now we have nx and ny so what will happen when nx is equal to 0 then nx is equal to 0 then ny must be 6 so you have 0 and 6 this will be 0 2 ny is equal to 12 so ny is equal to 6 when nx is equal to 1 when nx is equal to 1 then this will be 11 and y will divide by the so that is ny is 11 by 2 which is fraction which is not allowed so obviously we i have also discussed that this number odd number is not going to allowed here so then nx is equal to 2 if nx is equal to 2 2 time ny is 12 so this value is equal to 10 and 2 ny is equal to 10 so this value is 5 so these are the combination we are getting now nx is equal to 4 when nx is equal to 4 this value is say uh, 4 this is very interesting and now nx cannot be 5 when nx is equal to 6 then this value is equal to 3 so you can have 6 6 will go there 7 will not allowed when nx is equal to 8 then this value is equal to 2 when nx is equal to 10 and y is equal to 1 when nx is equal to 12 and y is equal to you can got for 0 so now you can calculate so these are the allowed value these are the allowed value so you can just give the all possible value of nx and you can have maximum value of nx that is 12 you cannot go beyond that because this constraint is going to hold so obviously how many levels are there this will represent one particular energy state this will represent another energy state this will represent another energy state so 3 is there 4 is there so total degeneracy total degeneracy of energy 27 by 2 h ka omega for this particular hamiltonian is 7 so i think this is correct answer we are getting so this is wonderful problem wonderful problem but and this is a straight forward problem we have done this type of problem a lot of in our class but thing is that you have to, in the examination you have to be very much composed that you can calculate it very nicely and how you are writing this particular constraint unless until you are not going to write this particular constraint you cannot count it so from my side the answer must be 7 if you have any doubt or any correction let me know we can happily discuss this thing okay thank you